So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys and by you guys, I mean medical students, what I believe are some of the most useful orthopedic surgery books for your level of education. And in most parts of the world, I expect that undergraduate students will also be reading other things, OBS guy in pediatrics, internal medicine. So I doubt a normal average struggling <laughs> undergraduate student will want to read Rockwood and Wilkins, would want to read Miller's orthopedics, all those massive books with a lot of information. The kind of stuff you need to know can always be found in some of these books plus maybe some online sources of information and by the way this is 2022 you can probably get some soft copy versions somewhere but if you're gonna be buying them like from amazon and so on feel free to use the links that i have dropped under this video so now three of these books will really be nice for undergraduate students and the last book that i'll mention will really be much better for residents than undergraduate students so for those of you in medical school the first book is netta's concise orthopedic atlas no it's actually called it's over here netta's concise orthopedic anatomy and this gives you quite a good foundation in as far as anatomy is concerned. You'd mostly want to use this as a reference book to just, you know, look over the anatomy in orthopedics. Because you see in the early formative years, the basic science years of medical school, you normally learn all the anatomy of the human body. So this would just be a reference for when you want some specific applied anatomy in as far as orthopedic surgery is concerned. And so really it wouldn't be a top recommendation if you're going to be actually buying books for orthopedics. The second book is actually Handbook of Fractures by Koval and Zuckerman. And so here it is. This would probably give you the most information, nearly all the information you'd want to learn as an undergraduate student, especially in as far as trauma, that is fractures, dislocations, and their classification and treatment is concerned. And a soft copy is also available. So yeah, that is one book you'd want to look into. And as I said earlier, especially for residents, one final book I'd recommend, and especially for when you want to go over some surgical procedures, that is like the approaches and exposure is Hoppenfeld's Surgical Exposures in Orthopedics. And I find that that is an awesome book, especially for residents really learning the techniques in surgery. But definitely for residents, there's really much more that you'd want to go into than just that book. So yeah, if you'd like me to cover some of the nice books for residents, comment down below. If you are an undergraduate student and you have any other questions as pertains orthopedics, also comment down below. And you guys know that on your way there, I recommend that you hit that big old red subscribe button and like the video, share to whoever might benefit. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.